sexual violence and violation arrive and on the news and all media platforms and fast becoming attack on our listenership and viewership sometimes the old the young the infants even the infirm are not spared from these criminals sexual predators are in the homes the faith-based places the schools the workplace and indeed people are saying now no place is safe most times these predators go free and want to repeat the offense because seemingly nobody they become faceless therefore having a sexual offenders register is long overdue if we are to rid the nation of the scourge by naming and shaming these predators, whoever they are. Nigeria prepares to join the Committee of Nations who have sex offenders register as a way to track and duck these predators. And so, on Bridges today, stakeholders are here to speak on this development and how it will operate, that is, the Sexual Offenders Register. I say, sex offenders, be aware. I say again, sex offenders, beware you are under high surveillance by all of us. Welcome, I'm Muchi Makonjola on Bridges, and this is building a sustainable environment where we all can thrive. Now, I'll start, it's an all women affairs today. Not that we didn't invite a man to join us, but um, if he does arrive, we'll put him on. But for now, women are up to the task. From my very extreme uh, left, I have with us Dr. Uh, Crystal Jane Cosmos, who is an advocate and using every platform to ensure that we bring sex offenders to book. You're welcome on Bridges. Thank you. And um, the Federal Capital Territory is also um, adding pep to what we are going to discuss today. And so from the FCT Sexual and Gender-Based Violence Response Team, we have the desk officer here with us, Jacinta Ngozi Ike. Jacinta, you're welcome on Bridges. Thank you. And we, had a, we have a big catch. You know, the big, biggest masquerade usually is the last. I have here with me a sister and, and the one who is doing so well and showing a lot of passion and knowing that we really can beat the predators to it. Dame Julie Oka Donnelly, Director General, National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, popularly known as NAPTI. You're all welcome, wonderful ladies. Thank and you. Thank, thank you for you. coming yes. to build a bridge where we can put the predators to shame. Now, first of all, I'd just like to ask, uh, and I'll come to you, DG, how would this operate? And are you, uh, are you sure that it's, some, it's a strategic tool that we can use to contain the predators? Absolutely. You know, the Sexual Offenders Register has various parts. We have a section for those that have been convicted of various sexual offenses. We also have a section, and that will be open to the public. Mm -hmm. We also have a section of those that have been arraigned or arrested for various sexual offenses. And information like that will be shared to only those who ask or apply for it, not open to the public. And so, yes. A lot of people don't like to be named and shamed mm -hmm. because most of the sexual offenses are done behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. So if you bring it out to the light, I mean, it, it's it's a very good um, form of deterrence, and mm -hmm. I think it's going to it's going it's going to be very very effective. Okay, we know that uh, November last year, uh, the EU, along with you, and of course the federal government, and of course uh, Rolak, you know, came together to validate how this would work. Mm -hmm. Now, we, we're speaking to Nigerians here, and so we don't want to go into all the... How, how, how does an individual who knows of a predator, how do you bring that predator to the register so that um, everybody around we know that uh -huh, here's a dangerous person, 
Yeah, it's very simple. If you go to the NAPTIP website, you just click on the link. You'll see it there, sexual offenders, and report cases of sexual offense. Mm -hmm. Now, the sexual offenders register is very unique in the sense that apart from reporting cases of sexual offenses, you also have a section of providers, service providers, who you can also, who the victims can take advantage of, you know, like the counselors, the medical people. Mm -hmm. They will be registered and they will have their information there. They give so services. So that it's easy to go. Absolutely. So for, like, for example, if we are employing someone, you, you can actually go there to find out. I hope that we are not bringing on a predator to uh, Absolutely. It's very important to also check um, for co those that are convicted mm -hmm. and also to apply to find out those that were arrested and those that have been arraigned. Mm -hmm. Reason being that the fact that you were arrested and you were not convicted does not mean that you were not guilty anyway. You mm -hmm. probably just got lucky because you have a good lawyer mm -hmm. or they dropped the case, mm -hmm. which is what happens most of the time. Mm -hmm. But the fact that your name is mentioned is very important and that's why we share this information with other law enforcement agencies mm -hmm. so that we have to be sure that this is not a first offender or a serial offender. Mm -hmm. Right, serial offender. Well, I'll come to FCT uh, because of the proximity. What exactly do you have in place to join this uh, tool that we hope will bring the predators you know, at least let's know them. Let's know who you're working with. Let's know who is locking around, you know, our children or even everybody. All of us here are kind mm -hmm. of vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. The FCT sexual and gender-based violence have a tool, a hotline, where people can call in, report, or walk in, or even write a letter of complaint. And when we do that, when we get such reports, what we do is to investigate. We are also part of the service providers that will be in the sex offenders register. So when they report, we make sure that those reports that are coming are true. We ascertain the case and make sure before we get the person into the sex offenders register that the person actually committed the, the offense. Crime, yeah. And we push the case and make sure it gets to court. Then we'll report. We'll have a kind of access from NAPTIP to report cases to the sex offenders register. Okay. Thereby the case, as it goes on, will follow up. Once he's convicted, we'll push it to the convicted list. Okay. Where will be that in that list, it will be open to the public. But for the cases that was reported and arranged, those ones, schools, employers of labor can go in there to check to see who they are employing if they are perpetrators or pedophiles, mm -hmm. that will show them yes, who I the person is actually. I was going to come to because I know that she does a lot, you know, with pedophiles and we have a lot of cases on pedophiles. Yeah. Uh, uh, Crystal, you, you are there and um, uh, as what kind of reports do we see? Is it something really that we should concern our, ourselves about? Because we hear all kinds, I mean, we read all kinds of things now. Is it a serious societal it's problem? It's actually becoming a menace. Okay. It's a menace because uh, the you see four-month-old molested by even their own parents, their fathers. And the, the worst part is that the families protect these people. That's what worries me, is that the mother wants to keep her marriage so mm -hmm. she shields the man from being reported mm -hmm. because she doesn't want stigmatization as it concerns her family. And you do not look at the child and how this can affect that child tomorrow. That's a very serious, it's actually a very serious issue. It's a menace and something has to be done, done. about it. And, uh, and what's your view on the, uh, you know, on the sexual violence and violation uh, register, you know, the register that will come on? Yes, uh, because I realized that uh, it was in 2014 that Lagos had one and then a kitty had, and then in Lagos there's just about 140 names, and in a kitty they call it black black book. Um, I think it's time for these people to the the the, the, the touch light should beam on them. They should be shamed for what they are doing because these are people entrusted in their hands. The, you, you can't violate the very people you're supposed to protect. How, How does it help yeah. what NAPTIP is doing? You know, we we prosecute cases like that. It's not just about the book but we also prosecute. They, there's a jail sentence for that as well, which the courts, uh, which is the job of the courts. And naming and shaming them will really go a long way too. 
reduce it at least to the barest minimum. What do you see in terms of experience, you know, that should actually ensure that everybody, you know, you, we, we, we should all have the, the lens, the surveillance lens of looking at these uh, predators. What, what, what kind of things do you see back in your office Wow. that you think this also, I know, you she, know she has some more experience wow. with us. You know, a lot of parents are very careless. They send their children to school with the driver without adult female supervision. They have a cook in their homes without an adult female supervision. They are quick to send their children to spend holidays with friends, excursions, unsupervised. You know, so there's so much carelessness on the part of the mothers. If mothers can just take a minute to take their time and ensure that they protect boys and girls alike, because even the boys too are not yeah. spared. Yeah. And be your children's friends, talk to them. We have a lot of fathers now that are beginning to rape their daughters. So many cases of fathers raping their daughters, all their daughters in the house. And like she said, the mothers try to protect their marriage. I don't understand what sort of marriage, marriage that would be if your husband is Molesting. raping all his daughters. That's for me, I don't understand what it is. So these women even tell the girls not to report and they shield their husbands. And at the end of the day, families would come and say, settle it in the family way. Mm. And I told them in Naptip, there is no family way. Fantastic. A rape is a crime against the state and we are going to prosecute you. But unfortunately, the victims become hostile witnesses. Some of them don't show up any longer because they've been threatened due to no fault of theirs. They don't show up and if there's no witness, there's no case. There's no case. So sometimes we have such, you know, difficulties. Mm -hmm. And even sometimes the judges will even tell you to go and settle it. Ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Sometimes the judges themselves will say, no, I would never allow a child to testify against the father. They don't care about the victims. No. They only worry about the, the father or the mother of the child, forgetting mm -hmm. the victim has a life of, of his or her own. You know, so we have problems too with the judges. Yeah, and, and, the, and the register would go a long way. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, the register Absolutely. would go a long way in terms of uh, keeping records and making, because some, some, some of the things that we really don't find out, particularly with employment, is you don't dig deep to find, yeah, to find out who the guy is and or who sometimes the women, because I read something that captured me, you know, about a few weeks back of a guy who actually broke down to say that he was sexually harassed by a woman. Mm. And I'm like, how did it happen? And, it be, you know, he was very emotional. He wouldn't come on, on, on TV. But um, so we, it has to be holistic, yeah. what we're looking at. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Now, I'll come back to you, uh, FCT. Um, there have been cases of women. And to these days, women are even afraid to go out, even on social nights, you know, because they could be harassed. Mm. And um, so, so what measures are you taking so that uh, women are safe and uh, as, as much as we want to bring the offenders to book, we should uh, also, what safe space do our people have, particularly in the FCT? I need to ask this. In FCT, we've done a lot of sensitization for our women. We've engaged women on how they can move around on whatever issues they have that they should rely on government, that government is out there for them to give them circle, to give them voice to the voiceless, who we'll empower them. we we'll also do sensitization programs for them. We we'll give them what the hotlines. Yeah, the so women. So the women, okay. What the kind of vulnerable system? women. The vulnerable. Well, who are the vulnerable women? The vulnerable women are women that are... Like out. you and I? No. What, what's different? <laughs> We have indigent ones among them that okay. are most vulnerable. Okay. We have challenged people okay. in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. So what we do, we engage with them and know how best we can come in to help them. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, you have done a lot in terms of advocacy, yeah. in terms of uh, getting this done. Now, do you think that as a people here, we, need, uh, we should advocate in, in terms of creating awareness around... Um, the, the register. Do you think the register is important? Yes, I think it is important. But I, above all, I think family, having to have the family begin to encourage their young people, their women, like she said, the, the, the challenged ones, 
to be able let them know that look it's okay to say what happened to you it's okay to come out it's okay to to be open about it and then you are open about it and give this person the comfortability the person i think he has to start from the house be, and especially mothers start advocating because he's so that's the bridge you are building now. yes okay yes. so that we, we, we need parents you know to allow yeah the victims yes because like she, said, like she said the, the, the family will come and say let's settle inside the judge is a parent mm. the the lawyers are parents so it, it has to do with the family so you see everybody comes from their own unit of family to say protect the family let's go a bit global what we're trying to do you know with uh, the national launch of the uh, Sexual, uh, uh, sex, uh, sex offenders register. Sexual offenders S register. Sexual offenders register. Sex offenders register. Mm. It is a register. Mm. Is it uh, is it peculiar to Nigeria or is it a practice globally? It's a practice globally and it's long overdue. Nigeria should have, if we had this practice in Nigeria, we would not have the rates of sexual uh, offenses. Is it agreeable to us? So yeah. how do we, yeah, how do we now yeah. get the buy-in of everyone? Just like uh, like our viewers watching us. We're already example. doing it. If we can, one if person tells another person, who tells another person, who tells another person, everybody becomes aware. And once you know that you'll be shamed and there's no going back, you... That is when people speak out. Yes, yeah. people we're, we're, we're going to carry out a massive sensitization yes, exactly. campaign. Mm -hmm. As soon as it is launched, we hope to launch it on the 25th of November. The Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, is going to launch it himself. As soon as it is launched, then we'll go public and sensitize everyone mm -hmm. and tell them that this is what is available for those girls who are victims, even the boys yes. who are victims of various sexual offenses. Mm -hmm. You can report and you have help. It's not your fault if you are raped by a monster. Mm -hmm. It is not your fault. It can never be your fault. So there's nothing to be ashamed about. And there's no stigmatization. All you will get is help. And you'll get justice because the offenders will not go unpunished. Their names will be there. And they will be publicized. Yes, they will be publicized. Yes, we are a big country. Uh, a, a lot of times people say, oh, you look like or you look like so is it are they going to be tagged you know mm -hmm. are you looking on to once you see like if you have a, i mean there are offenders when you travel abroad and you see them something is they're tagged in such a way that you can recognize that this one is an offender what do you intend to do it's okay for you to if for example the name is moji there are several mojis around you know uh, is, is it going to come with their pictures or is it, I mean, what exactly, how do you identify them even if their names are on the register? Everything about them, their local government, their age, their sex, everything about them, their names, their villages, everything will be there. We probably will get to that level where we'll tag them yes. and if, when you see a sexual offender, you know this is a sexual offender. Yeah. Perhaps we yeah. need to change the law yeah. to, 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 to take care of that aspect. I think it's a very brilliant proposal you just, you know, you yeah, just because made we, now. we need to know yeah. them. I, I, well, I'm, optimistic <laughs> that, I'm optimistic that it works. Mm. Uh, I can see signs that uh, time is coming, you know. But, but let, let's hear your view. Let's hear your final view. Kind yes, of. I think... Uh, the bridge is buildable. Yes, of course it is <laughs> buildable. Okay, just it's, remove... It's sustainable. The, yeah, it's sustainable. Just simply let the people know that you're protected. Nothing will happen yeah. to you. I'm here for you. That confidence, that's it. And Is that the way to go of in the course, FCC? Yes. yes. Where we where we will start launching this program, we'll create that sensitization program across the whole mm -hmm. FCT mm -hmm. that people should have confidence in the digital nature of those our sex offenders register. That this register will serve as a deterrent to the perpetrators, mm -hmm. perpetrators, the pedophiles. And by us doing this, we also sensitize the public, the women the family members that they have to believe in the ones that wants to speak out mm -hmm. because the problems we'll have as women mm -hmm. when will our children come to say mommy i've been violated mm -hmm. i was raped nobody tends to believe them mm -hmm. the first is for us to believe them oh, keep quiet their, yes, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. believe them in their stories mm -hmm. so that they will be able to speak out and now will now follow up so this is a yes. call up Yes. Kind of for action, mm -hmm. yes. you know, particularly at the family level. That's mm -hmm. yes. that you, the, 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 the victims need 
to be allowed to speak out. out. Mm -hmm. And I know that's your view. So yeah. let's hear your final view as we Yeah, the, the, vic the victims need to speak out. And um, whatever information they give us will be treated with utmost confidentiality. Mm -hmm. So they shouldn't be scared that their names will be out there. No, they are the victims. The names of those who will be out there are the criminals who have violated them. Mm -hmm. So they should be rest assured that we're going to treat all their details and information with utmost professionalism and confidentiality. That's it. I think those last lines are where to go and to ensure that you watching us out there are also part of this drive to contain and in fact stop, as it were, you know, the, 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 the sex offenders from getting away free. Speaking about, and I think and uh, just before we go, that we'll probably need counsellors yes, that will be able to speak to yes, those that have been them. so affected. Yes. And um, Naptip, do you have any... It's a total package. Fantastic. There are service providers. We have the doctors. We have the counsellors. We have the shelters. We have those that will empower them at the end of the day and those that will, you know, reunite them back to their families. families. Yeah. So it's a total package. So it's a total package out there, but we really can't get to the promised land if we don't all collaborate with particularly NAPTIP, FCT, and I'm sure states around uh, uh, the country. And kudos to the states that have signed on to the uh, mm. sexual and, viol uh, and uh, violence or, or mm. offense mm. Um, mm. And it made it law in their states. The VAP Act. The VAP Act. Act that is the violence against, against persons persons prohibition. Uh, right. provision. Uh, kudos to them. I think yeah. it just joined now, yeah, and I, and I think it's an exciting moment. Mm -hmm. And th this is a clarion call to all states mm -hmm. to also ensure that they also sign that into law and domesticate it. Mm -hmm. That way, we'll be able to get at the predators and make the environment and, in fact, the society free, it's so safe. that people can achieve what their aims and build a better Nigeria. I'd like to thank you women for coming on thank the you. program. Well, more, more women, as if the statistics shows that more women are violated than yeah. men for now. Yeah. But I'm sure NAPTIP is working hard to, get, you know, to bring that forth. So thank you for coming on thank the program you. and thank you, Gigi, for sparing your time to also be part of this. This conversation will continue. And at that time, we hope that NAPTIP also will be part of it. So join hands with us. When that register comes into being, ensure that any predator that is hiding is brought to book so that our children can have a safer and better life to build a better Nigeria. Thanks for watching. Bridges will be back same time next week.